I'm the kind of person that has always been rather fascinated with processes. Things that take time, like brewing beer, which we spent the better part of Saturday trying for the first time. Now, I have never brewed beer before, and we were making a small batch out of a kit, and hopefully the beer should be ready by the time I'm not pregnant anymore. Because if it is one thing I have really been missing these last few months, it's a good beer. So, yeah, I, I hope it turns out nice. But seeing the process here kind of reminded me of making stuff that takes time. Before I started this channel, I got really, like, obsessively into baking bread using sourdough for a while. We even ran a cooking website, theculinaryreview.com, where we documented recipes. I mean, all kinds of recipes, not just bread. And we had an interesting food database going with costs and calories, and yeah, that was a lot of fun. But anyway, back to baking. I kept like three different sourdoughs going at the same time and baked a ton of bread using them in various ways. And I was just fascinated by the process, the idea of fermentation and slow progression. I was convinced that anything that took time, that developed slowly, must surely be better for us. And I love the sometimes unpredictable nature of it. Height. Yeah, you just made it. I thought things that required a little bit more patience, not like cooking, which I felt was immediate, just had this lovely quality to it. And baking bread, while it took a lot of time, was still something you started perhaps at night and then was finished with the next day. So in a relative sense, it was pretty quick and doable. Brewing beer though, or wine for that matter, or making cheese, or pickling, even gardening, all things which, by the way, I was totally planning to get into, I don't know, once the stars aligned or something. But those things seemed like a bigger endeavor. Something a little bit overwhelming, yet so appealing at the same time. The last five minutes and the last four packs of hops. I remember thinking, that the ideal life must surely be a life where you make everything. Your bread, beer, cheese, not to mention your furniture, your clothing, and quilts and toys, and perhaps even your house. I like the idea that you would be involved in every step of the process. I don't know why. Maybe because it gives you a sense of control, like you're part of it. You're not just superficially eating and drinking and living in a space which someone else created for you. These days, however, uh, I don't know, I'm not quite as absolute about these things. I think in many ways we only have so much energy, and it's easy to get absorbed and completely involved in something, but you really can't be involved in all things, at least not at the same time. But there's still something very appealing about things that take time that you create, no matter what that is. And after spending hours on this beer, we both felt like it seemed like quite a bit of work for a small batch, which might not even turn out well. But I guess the experience of it all is all that matters in many ways, no matter what it is that you make. Okay, so just at the stage now where I added the yeast and I <laughs> assumed the beer is gonna start working now and it's gonna start bubbling in uh, a couple of hours. And we'll see how it turns out. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. And thanks to my patrons for supporting these videos, which are not sponsored. They don't have ads. They're completely being made with the support from you guys. And if you'd like to be a part of that, then check out the link in the description to my Patreon. Um, I really appreciate it and I really want to continue making these videos and explore new topics, but I do need your support for that. So thank you very much.